Hello everyone. Today we are doing a program uh, wherein we will read the data from ThinkSpeak Cloud and we will print the data onto the serial monitor. So for this, we need to include uh, these three header files, uh, ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h, Wi-Fi client.h, ESP8266 HTTP client.h. <clears throat> So before getting into the program, as discussed in the earlier video, uh, we have done the program uh, wherein we printed the data onto this ThingSpeak cloud using Node MCU. And uh, we basically used a DHT11 sensor. We connected it with uh, Node MCU and then we have uh, written the data onto this ThingSpeak cloud. Regarding this, uh, I have already discussed about the program. <clears throat> so here, once we have the data onto the ThingSpeak cloud, then today we are printing these data onto the serial monitor. Means reading the data from this ThingSpeak cloud and printing, printing it onto the serial monitor with the help of Node MCU again. So here, once we have this data, we have to go to API keys and then we have this get response that is the read a channel field. We have to copy this and if I open a new page and paste it here, then you can see that the data is being printed here. Field one, uh, not, okay. So let me refresh it. <laughs> Open field two data. Now, okay. so you can see the field two data is thirty six point two. Uh, so last two data has been printed. So you can see the last latest two data will be printed. So thirty six point two and thirty six point two of this field two chart. <clears throat> so because we are printing this data. So if I zoom in, you can see field 2, 36.2 and 36.2. And here, we have to change the field in this web, web page. After this fields, forward slash, instead of 1, we have to make it as 2. Okay. So now, if I want to print the same data onto the serial monitor, then as I said, these three uh, library files are included. And then we are creating these objects so that with the help of these objects, we are going to call the methods which are being, uh, which are there in these two library files. And I'm also making use of one variable HTTP code. And well, the data type is integer and i'm also making use of one more variable response so that whatever response i get from the server will be stored in this variable and i am making use of string okay so that whatever the whole string will be printed in the uh, serial monitor so that to get this string from the server from this thing speak cloud i am making use of string <coughs> so this particular part is uh, the function wherein uh, we are able to connect with the Wi-Fi. This is already explained in the previous program. Now here, uh, the actual program HTTP dot begin. It's a method wherein we are passing the parameters that is client with the particular uh, get response. Okay, so read a channel field <coughs> with this particular uh, get response. So we are taking this, we are copying this, and then we are uploading it, in, it here. After that, we have to make sure that we remove S here, HTTP 
we have to have only HTTP here. We have to remove S here. So after this, once I send the request to the server, this read request to the server, then I will print in waiting for response. Once I get the response uh, through this uh, particular method, HTTP.get, I'll be getting the response that I'll be storing it in HTTP code variable. So I'll be checking this variable whether it is greater than zero. If it is greater than zero, then I will print get request sent successfully. And I am storing the response which I've got from the server into this variable. And to get that response, I'm making use of this method http.getString. <clears throat> so I will get this whole string what uh, I have shown here. The whole string will be printed onto the serial monitor. So once I get the response, I'll print that response. Now, if the HTTP, uh, if the value in this variable, if it is less than zero, then uh, fail to connect to the server will be printed onto the serial monitor. And after that, I'll end this uh, method that is HTTP.begin, which means I'm initializing the uh, TCP IP connection. And I am closing the TCP IP connection here. And after that, I have made use of 10,000 milliseconds of delay here. So once I upload this, we can see in the serial monitor. Right. So the first message is waiting for response and then get request sent successfully. And after that, uh, we can see our value of field 2 is being printed here, 36.2. All right. So this is about the program. <clears throat> Thank you.